C3 Energy, Green Energy Group. Good morning, sales team. I'm Chris Hunter with C3 Green Energy, a Foxconn Green Energy Technology Partner. You might know me as Branson Man or uh, with HotelRevenueMan.com, and I am still those people, but I also have come to work with a great energy company. I'm going to take about a minute and tell you how that came to be. Just over a year ago, I presented for the first time here at One Million Cups. This is my third time presenting. After that presentation, Springfield Business Journal reached out to me, and they were good enough to do a write-up uh, on me. You can see that here. I appreciate the exposure. Uh, there's a former senator who reads the Springfield Business Journal. He works with C3, and he uh, read this and reached out to me. He said, you're a hotel consultant, and you already have connections to all these hotels, and they use a lot of energy. If you can get us meetings with them, and they can install this equipment that saves them on energy and also protects all of their equipment, well then I'll give you a referral fee. And I thought that that seemed pretty easy. So what is green energy equipment? People's eyes usually glaze over when I say that. This is our product. We have worldwide patent on it. It's called the Powerhouse. Now in this presentation, there's some technical language. If you don't understand what it means, that's fine. I just recently learned it. You just need to understand the principle. This equipment saves on monthly electrical costs. It protects equipment and takes uh, less than two years to pay for it. Okay, this has three components. The first is GE conditioning capacitors. The next is MOBs, metal oxide versitors. And the third is surge protection. Now, before we go any further, we need to talk about beer. Do I have any objections? No objections. Okay. Um, when you talk to an electrical engineer, the classic illustration they'll use for power factor, which is how efficiently a system uses energy, is a glass of beer. K-bar, or the foam at the top, that's the wasted energy. And KW might sound familiar to you, like kilowatts, that's the energy that's being used. That's the actual beer. If you went to a restaurant and you ordered a beer, they brought it to you, and it was 50% foam and 50% beer, you would say, I need to talk to the manager, because I paid for 100% beer, or maybe even 95 would be acceptable, but you only gave me half. I didn't get what I paid for. What happens in a typical building, let's say like an art museum, you pay for 100% of the electricity. By the time it runs through the system due to inefficiencies, you're wasting probably about 20%. The powerhouse can help you capture about 15% of that back and turn it into usable uh, energy or beer. Here's a quick laundry list of some of the benefits that the powerhouse brings. The voltage or the energy is stabilized and raised. Amps add heat to a system. That's not good. It's bad for compressors, for lights, computers, everything that's plugged in. Amps are decreased. Demand charges are decreased. Who's familiar with demand, electrical demand charges for commercial? Does that mean anything? Okay, we've just got a couple of hands. I knew nothing about that until I started uh, learning about the powerhouse. We don't have this for residential or for houses, just for businesses. What happens? I work with hotels. Let's say it's July 4th, it's 100% occupancy, and it's 100 degrees outside. All your rooms are full, everyone has the air conditioners on, and they're running 24 hours a day, so even when they get back from Silver Dollar City, the room's nice and cold. The elevators are being used more than uh, normal. You're cooking more food than you usually do. So the utility that sends you the electricity, they are going to say, you use this much energy at one given time. So not only are we going to charge you for that electricity, but we're going to make sure we have that much electricity available for you for the next 12 months, because you might need that much again. You can show us you can use that much. Not only are we going to make sure we have that available for you, we're going to charge you for that. That's demand. And that can be a significant part of the bill that some people aren't even aware of. Uh, what else does the powerhouse do? The K-bar, that foam or the waste, that's decreased. Power factor or the beer is increased. It increases equipment lifespan, and we can't even figure that in to ROI. We don't, but we have stories um, from some of our clients that prove that this is true. 50,000 volts of surge protection saves 10 to 20% on electrical bills. The ROI is less than two years. It means you take the savings and you can pay for it in uh, fewer than two years. Uh, here's a case study of Kawasaki. Now I'm going to show you some graphs. You can't see the metrics. You don't know what it means. I'm going to show you a few and then give you a summary page. This is what you're going to get from this. All the metrics that are good go up. All the metrics that are bad go down. So here, this is voltage. What happens is, okay, if you were to go to the hospital and they hooked you up to a heart monitor, an EKG, what that's doing, it's measuring electrical pulses. So you have the spikes and surges, and then you have the dips and the gaps, and you have the occasional blips or the interruptions. Same thing happens with electricity that comes into a building. 
So we have a device that's just like that. It's called a debt meter. We hook it up to the electricity in a building right where it comes in. That's called the service. And we can see this live on our laptop and the people from the business can see. It measures maybe about eight different metrics and you can see how well those are performing. So in this situation, we've already installed the powerhouse at Kawasaki. We can do an on-off testing. It proves that it works. So it is off. And then here about 1040, you'll see on each of these graphs, it turns on, it takes about 30 seconds to fill with energy to be at uh, uh, full capacity. So this is voltage, voltage increases. This is power factor, imagine that, that glass of beer, we turn it on here at 1040 and it's filling up, the foam is going away. Here we have amperage, remember amps had heat to a system, so you, you, you don't like that, those lower. KW, this is what they're gonna charge you for using. It's up here and right here at 1040, it drops. Power factor, that's that glass of beer, went from 84 to 95, increased 11%, so that's gonna lead to savings. Voltage increase, amps, that's heat uh, in the system, that went down 15%. KWH, which they charge you for, went down 7.5%. The demand spikes fell 10% instantly. This is how it works. As the electricity spikes and surges, you don't want a burst of energy getting to your equipment. It'll, it'll wear it out, it's not good for it. So what happens is, uh, the MOVs, they sense that and they grab that spike. So that lowers the demand because you're not using as much energy. It takes it and passes it to the capacitors. Capacitors, they have capacity, it holds something. In this situation, it's energy. And they store it there. And then electricity is weighed. Then as it dips and it sags and everything is trying to get electricity and pulling on the thing and not getting enough and the lights are dimming, that's not a good situation. It takes that electricity it just saved, reintroduces it to the system. That's how the voltage is stabilized and then even raised. Unilever, the world's largest ice cream plant, this was the first time I saw an actual powerhouse, so I knew it wasn't just too good to be true, uh, on the wall, and they did on-off testing so I could see it work. Their volts increased by six, their amps decreased by 17, their demand savings was over 15%. Owens Corning, Kansas City, they have a uh, insulation factory. They were having these electrical events, which is really bad for production, I'll spare you the details. They installed six of our units and are getting 15 more, so that's usually a good sign that it's working for them. Sealed Air, they make bubble wrap at Sealed Air. Um, they were having electrical issues. When your lights flicker at your house, it's not a big deal. When it happens at a factory, it resets the machines. They have to waste the product and they have wasted time. They said every time this happened, it cost them $18,000. Now they ended up having 14% savings on power bills, but that wasn't important to them. They just needed production to keep going, and it did. These are some of the hotels that we've installed for hotel brands. And this is my contact information.